see now. Okay. I got the subject. Okay. Give me a second, folks. I'm writing down today's topic. I've had this idea for this topic for a long time. I should have done it in the summertime when I had more time in my hand. Or at least it was busy, but not as busy. But what the hell? Okay. One, two, three, two. Bullet points ready to go. Hopefully this video is not very long. Okay, folks. All right. Okay. Ready to begin. Let's talk, let's do, um, while I'm still on the quest to find my niche audience, which isn't easy because everybody's already, every niche audience is already full. No, I said it wrong. No. How did it go again? Okay. While I'm still on the quest to find my niche audience, it's still a pain to get through because you've got millions of people doing the same exact thing too, which reminds me of a little something, which is what this video is going to be about. Let's talk about high school. I never covered that topic, high school. And that's what this video is going to be about today, my high school years. And it's weird because I was a junior in high school 20 years ago in the fall of 98 through the summer of 99. That was my junior in high school. And my high school is actually not that far from here, believe it or not. When I was in high school, I lived close to my high school. Now I live about maybe, I'm not kidding you, walking distance. I, from here to my high school is like about maybe a Maybe a 10 minute walk, maybe eight minute walk, depending on how slow or fast you walk. And this is the issue with this backdrop, and I've had it already with this damn backdrop. I will be right back. Okay, now where was I? Oh yeah. You know, before I get to get started with this video, I don't understand how most YouTubers have these fancy, nice backdrops. I keep thinking they're not using, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, they're not using their own rooms. I doubt the room is that neat and nice. I keep thinking they're using a studio, or an empty room in their house, which is not a bad thing, but every room in my house is clogged. And mine is definitely a warehouse. This is my eBay store too. And I do this, you know, and I've run out of places to store shit, which is just, uh, and after the, I don't know how, but my point is, I wanted to create a cool fancy backdrop, but I'm wasting too much time creating fancy backdrops. Let's just get to the damn point. So where was I? Oh, that's right, high school. Let's start with high school. Now, I got triggered to do this video because I was at a party this past Saturday. Saw so my old friend, let's just call him Ramirez. I don't want to say his first name. Nice guy, or cool. Wanted to beat me up a few times. I wanted to fight him a few times. Probably would have not been the best idea. But, you know, that was stuff when we were kids. We're adults now. But I also realized, too, that some things just never changed. And that was junior high which led into high school. And by the time I made it to high school, I was damaged goods. So let's start with the origins of high school. I'm trying to keep this video short or long, who knows? We'll see how, let's see where the uh, illusion takes us. And, I, my, and my editor is gonna hate me because it's double the work now because I got a microphone right here. But, you know what, let me, let's me let just get to the point. I graduated junior high in 1997. It was June of 97. For those of you who don't know, here in New York City, you graduate in June and you start in September. Some of you start as early as August. Some don't have uh, winter breaks or, or spring recesses and all that stuff. That was a weird summer of 97. That was a very strange summer. It wasn't a hot summer. My, my parents got, uh, well, actually, my mom and my stepfather got uh, divorced. So we moved to California. That was my early run in California in 97. And California back then was not, especially Los Angeles, was not a very safe place. My mom did everything she could to find us a safe high school. And we settled for this one particular high school called Maricosta High School on Artesia Boulevard. And I forgot, I think Pacific Coast Highway around that area. It was an old white school. And I swear to God, when you think of shows like Saved by the Bell and the white boys and the jocks and the, and the cheerleaders... That's what it was like. There weren't too many minorities there. I mean, there were, but it was just like a, it was just like a, a fraction of a fraction. The entire school was white. Sorry, but it's the truth. Felt very out of place. No different than a white kid than when he goes to a, an old Hispanic or black school and he feels very out of place. And you pick up some stuff from them. I was only in that high school for one week and I did not like it. I just had this culture shock anxiety. And I met this one guy who was going to show me the ropes. And this is the beginning of me kind of like fear of rejection, fear of uh, getting too close to people. It's something that would follow me for many years. 
after that one week, I just threw in the towel and said, I don't want to be here anymore. I wanted to move back to New York. My mom stayed in Los Angeles, and I moved in with my father. And my father does not like Queens. He's become one of those people that likes Long Island better than Queens, which is now everybody now. Because all my friends from back then, they all live in Long Island. They all have houses over there. Or upstate, or Westchester, or Florida, which is the most common thread. So after I try to go back to my high school, this is my sophomore year, by the way. When I try to go back to the high school where I was supposed to be from day one, they, they didn't want me there. That was the beginning of, 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 a, of a long debacle that we'll get into later. So uh, after that after that backfired, my dad was like, let's move to Long Island. And I was not happy. And I ended up going to a high school on Route 110 in Amityville. Amityville High School. Let's just call it Amityville High School. That's where I went to. I, I did my sophomore year there from 97, 98. I hated it, but I figured, what well, we're going to be here for a year. Let's make the best of it. I met some cool people, but I didn't like the majority of the people there. It was an old black school. I don't know what it's like now, but back then it was an old black school. I mean, me and my brother were the only Hispanics on that bus full of black kids. Very unsettling feeling, but whatever. Some of the kids did talk to us. Some of them didn't. We were nervous. Not to mention we're Hispanic, but we're not Puerto Rican. And if you notice, Puerto Ricans and blacks get along. And us, they kind of pick on us, but that's another topic. But the funny thing about being in that high school was that I didn't get along with the Hispanics in that school. The, Hispanic in that, the Hispanics in that school are very conceited. This is that snooty. It's, it's that Long Island suburban thing. It's, it's not like in. It's not like back in the third world, where if you live in a city, you're high class, and you live out in the suburbs or the village or the forest, you're seen as a hillbilly. Here in the in the states, it's the other way around. If you live in the nice, cozy suburbs, you're upscale and uptight, and that applies for every nationality, ethnicity. Doesn't matter which one they are. So the weird thing was that I didn't hit it off with the Hispanics. I, I only talked to two or three of them in Spanish. The majority of them I didn't really hit it off with them with. And But the black kids were the ones that kind of took us under our wing. So that was kind of cool. So after, we were there for a year. So I figured, what the hell? Let's make the best of it. Then came the summer of 98. And boy, do I ever regret this one. So I got no one to blame for me for the following story. Amityville was my second high school. In, in a, in a one-year period of my sophomore year. When we moved back to Queens, I, I, I put the policy in my mom and said, Mom, if I go back to high school, I want to go back to the school where I originally started. That's where I was supposed to be from day one, which is the school up the street. Let's just call it JB High School. JB, it's, down the, it's right up the street on Main Street. Let's just call it that. And to her credit, she did everything she could. We used my... Uh, at the, not at the time, but now he's my godfather, his address, because he was zoned to that school, and I got there. Now, here's the problem with when I got there. I had this idea in my head about bumping into some of my old friends from junior high. Some I had some unfinished business. Some I just wanted to ignore them. It's that carrying around that, that, bag, of, that bag of rocks from my fucking junior high years that just... See, junior high just ruined it for me, which we'll get into later. Well, actually, I'll cover that in another episode, but when I made it to high school, I was damaged goods. I could have walked in with a more positive attitude and, you know, be friendly with people, but I didn't. And it didn't help that, that the people in that school were very... Eh, to get to the point, it was September of, 90, of 98. My mom did everything she could. She got me into the high school. Woohoo! It would have made no difference if I went to that high school or another high school. Because by the time I got there, half the people I knew from junior high were gone. They dropped out. Who knows? They moved out. And the ones that were still there were on their way out. Like my friend, let's just call her Ortiz. I don't know what the hell her story was. Uh, she kind of told me the story years later, but she kept cutting school. So it's kind of like it's kind of like letting go of the past and just focus on the present. But I didn't like any of the new people I met. And the thing that I hate about it was my junior year was not as bad as I painted I admit, I, was, I did a lot of stupid stuff uh, to draw attention to myself. Some people actually took a liking to me. Unlike, high, unlike junior high, some people didn't. Who knows? But anyway, my junior year, like I ever said, was not as bad as I painted it. But I could have walked in with a more positive attitude and I could have enjoyed it more. But I didn't. I was just a, a negative Nancy. And the fact that it was the 1990s didn't help either. Because back then in the 1990s, being miserable was cool. Everybody everybody was on, on a self-pity mode. 
And it wasn't as bad as my senior year, which is what I'm about to cover right now. My senior year deserves a full episode because I just hated my senior year. But let's before I wrap up my junior year, when I it was around April of '99 when I realized that I made a big mistake of going back to that school. It would have made no difference if I went to another school because half the people I knew were gone, and I didn't like any of the people that was there. Again, my own fault. Some of them were not that bad. The thing about my junior year was that. And this is something I would experience in college. When you're a junior, I don't know about now, but back then, they mix you with other kids. So most of my classes were with sophomores and freshmen, and I was a junior. And I hit it off with some of those kids. Then came my senior year, and I did not want to be there, and I did everything I could to not be there, and which is something I ended up regretting in the long run, because it, it, all it did was make the stay longer. And... Senior year, this is where I learned one thing. Senior years sucks, or last semester sucked. When my senior year got started, I remember I went on my second day to school to get my program, but I didn't go back to school for like a month. I just had the bus pass. I just wandered around the city instead. I would just take the bus, and it was still warm at the time, so I would just take the bus. I couldn't take the train because it was half fare, so I had to improvise. I had to take the bus to a certain stop and then walk. I found myself walking the Williamsburg Bridge a lot. I wandered around the city. I got to know Manhattan pretty well during that that, thir that 30 day. But once I decided to go back to school, it was too late. And this is something that, that school was known for. They, they they messed things up and they put the blame on you. It's never their fault. When I got to my senior year, this is when I got to my school during my senior year, they, they, they gave me a schedule that was all upside down. The school was in, a, uh, was in a shamble at the time. It got really overcrowded. They started bringing in ghetto kids from the other side of the tracks, even though there was already ghetto kids from the other side of the tracks which is another topic. But basically, when I got there, I didn't know who the hell was who. I walk into the school, and I swear to God, it's like two different schools, and it's the same school. When my senior year got started, I walk into each classroom. There were some new teachers, some teachers I already seen before, but the faces in, the, in that classroom, with the exception of maybe two or three of them, I didn't know who the hell the half of, the half of that class was. It turns out these are the seniors. If I would have been in that high school from day one, in set in September of ninety seven, which I was in Long Island, if I would have been in that school from that first day, I wouldn't know who was who. Instead, they separate you from everybody else when you're a senior, and I hated those kids. Not that they ever picked on me or anything. It's just that I didn't like it because they were all very standoffish, aloof, and I know I wasn't doing myself any favors either. I didn't want to be there. My state of mind was the was the drizzling number twos, if you know what I mean. But it, I don't know, and it was, and it's still. I should have just focused on work, got stuff done. I did everything I could to stay out of everybody's radar, and I was definitely out of everybody's radar. I was below the potted plan. I made myself famous the following semester because back then the schools would do this thing where other states they don't do this thing where every six months is a different semester in the same year. When my second semester in my senior year got started, which was February of ninety of two thousand. Boy, was I in for a long run. I hated that place. If I ever have an axe to grab with that high school, it was that particular year. And I did some stuff, too, that I'm not very proud of, which I don't want to go into all the details. But I just hated that senior year. I got stuck with all these slap nut senior students that uh, I didn't know who half of them were. But you're with them for a year, so you're forced to mingle with a few of them. And I did, and I can't vilify every single one of them because I did hit it off with a few of them. A few of them. Some I already saw a year earlier that I hit it off with. But the friendships were pretty much there. And then kids I knew in my junior year that were cool, once they became senior, they became old slap dicks, slap nuts. I'm proud of it. My senior year was just a disaster. Then I started doing other stuff I'm not supposed to be doing, which I won't cover. And got into a lot of trouble. I didn't fight or anything. I mean, that, the only person that did damage to was me. And... Ugh, I'm going to open a little can of worms here. And then I thought I was going to leave that place for good. But I wasn't doing anything to get myself out of there. I was doing all the work. Finally, I get the bad news around May of 2000 that I was going to get left back six more months. And I wanted to get out of that school so bad that it all, it all just... It all came in shambles. And I was pissed off that I got stuck there for another year, which I'm about to get to. Then the summer got started. I got stuck in summer school, which was a disaster. It was Going to summer school was worthless for me. I didn't finish gym class because I broke my ankle in the middle of the summer. 
And I never did math. I, that math class was weird. I should have focused more, but I hated math. And eventually, because I broke my ankle, I never got a chance to go back to school physically. It's funny how the school made my life hell. They politic with me. They didn't want me there in the first place. When I finally had the people to go in, they made me feel like I wasn't needed or wanted. Come my senior year, they didn't want me back there anymore. Even though I'm still technically a student of theirs, they didn't physically want me there anymore. And I was forced to take home instruction. So I had a teacher come to my school, I mean, to my house, and teach me math. What was it? Math. Uh, I think math, history, and math. No, it was, you know, remember it was math. I think it was science, and I think history. I think those were the three subjects. I passed the English exam, which I was, it was a, which was a lucky one. Those are the three main courses that I had to that I had to pass to graduate. I basically graduated without without a gym class, and I graduated with the with uh, the RCTs, which at the time was a big deal, because then they went to regions, which got harder. And finally, I graduated in. Hmm, I went 14 minutes. Anyway, let's continue. I graduated in January of 2001. So my final semester was in school. But before I get to that, I actually wanted to go back to well, I actually wanted to go back to my high school and see some of those old kids I knew. The the present ones, not the ones from the past. But the school didn't want me. They politicked me like, oh, it's just that you're starting late, blah, 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 blah. It's kind of like a sign of them telling you we don't want you here. That's why till this day I still have a I still have a disdain for that school. And it's funny because I don't even pass by that school very much. I've very rarely gone down that way. Very rarely. Now I drive. And I very rarely go that way unless I have to go unless I have to go to the store. Actually, yeah. Anyway, but uh, I remember in October I wanted to go back to school. They didn't want me, so I just my my home instructor did was like, you you have a better chance of passing with me. And I finally graduated in January of two thousand and one, which is a pain in the ass. I took all my exams at home. It felt weird being out of place. And that's about it. I graduated high school. Never got a chance to, uh, I had someone finish business with some old nemesis of mine from high school. I never got picked on or bullied on. That was junior high. In high school, nobody ever messed with me. I was so below the radar. They probably thought, thought of me I was crazy. Fashion-wise, I wasn't wearing the stuff that everybody was wearing at the time. I was wearing tight jeans before tight jeans became cool. And January 01 was like the close that chapter. Turn the page. I kept playing that song, Turn the Page by Metallica, not the Bob Seger version. And that was it. High school ended for me in January of 01. I still don't even know to this day what class I'm in. I'm not in class of 2000. I don't even think I mentioned in the yearbook. I don't even know. I don't even know what the yearbook looks like. When I was a senior, I was so negative and this and that. I didn't. I didn't want to be in the prom. I didn't want to be in the stupid yearbook. I didn't care. I didn't even like any of that senior class I got stuck with. And I graduated in. And then I went into the workforce. I started doing little odd jobs, doing jobs here, jobs there, and. Which we'll get into another topic because my next video after this will be, will be. Let me see now. Should I go into college? I'm gonna cover my college years too. College was okay, but not as good. But it was better than high school, which we'll get into. But I'm gonna go back to the root of the problem. I'm gonna go to the cavity of the problem. We're gonna go back to our junior high years or middle school, as it's called today. So there you have it. My high school years. It was from 1997 to 2001. That would be a correct year by today's standards because nowadays ninth grade is considered high school. You go ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth. So you're there for four years. But for me, I was still part of that part of that part of that, that class where you can have the option to go into high school after eighth if you have good grades, or you just wait till like everybody else and go in at tenth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth. And me, I, I don't know. I graduated. And to this day, I'm the only thing that shocked me was when I made it to that to that small ceremony they had for us in the library. Was who the hell are there were some kids that I'm like, what are you guys doing here? You guys I knew were fuck were mess ups. The rest of you all had your head on straight. Why did you guys screw up? Me, I, they know my story. <laughs> I made myself famous, <laughs> not in a good way. But there you have it. And we all graduated. Till this day, I still don't know what class I'm in. And the rest is pretty meh. Anyway, and the the bags from high school, I would I will carry that on for the work years. So, let's end this right now. The high school years are ended, and I did 18 minutes of this video. It's time to wrap it up. I gotta go, and I gotta get my my next video ready. My college years. So stay tuned for that video, and uh, 
Hit the like button, subscribe. I got more stories to tell you while I'm still in the quest to find my niche audience. So stay tuned. Thank you.